All right, so we're going to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 one more time, particularly with the whole uh, you don't like it, don't buy it situation. I found some really interesting stuff to talk about with some people that actually worked on the game, which maybe might show some of you guys what I'm saying about it. So I just want to start off that like the stuff with Mortal Kombat 11, the videos I made on it, they're interesting. The comment sections are uh, always active with people debating or uh, disagreeing or agreeing with me. And it's it's actually a pretty even split between the people who agree and disagree, which is fine. I like reading the discourse. I like, uh, you know, hearing you guys' opinions. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. I don't, I don't delete your guys' stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it there unless it's something really nasty, you know. Um, it's there for everybody to see. I want to hear what your thoughts are, always. And this stuff really sparks a passion in people. The Mortal Kombat series has been around for a long time, and a lot of people are passionate about it. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with it. Jax's ending, which I just covered, uh, the way they cover up the women and the men are running around butt naked. And then we had the Shao Kahn reference where he literally is uh, talking about making the outworld great again. And you say, you know, oh, it's just a joke, but is it really? We're going to get to uh, one of the guys who worked on the game in a second. Now, you know, maybe this stuff doesn't bother you, and that's fine. I The whole point of my channel is, you know, discussing opinions on things that I have and such, and my opinion on this is that it's full-on NPC, and I want to talk about it. And it's not just that. There's a couple other things that have happened, uh, copyright claims, uh, review bombings, and the game is actually not allowed in Japan. I found that out recently. So we're going to take a look at some stuff that's been going on. Uh, first off, of course, you have uh, CBR, Comic Book News, loving it, loving it. They actually uh, praise the ending, and they say, if you don't like that ending, well, you are an extremist ismphobe. Of course, an ismphobe. And Kotaku, no one should be surprised because they usually always have their uh, their head right up their own rear end. People are upset about things that don't actually happen in Jax's MK11 ending. And they also move to call you an ismphobe and a uh, pile of garbage for not liking the game's ending. But of course, Polygon calling it the best part of the game is what really irritated me. I just want to make it clear, the reason that I criticize this and talk about it like I am is I don't like politics in my video games, I don't like it in my comics, and I don't like it in, you know, my movies. Now, there's a difference, though. There's politics that are done good, right, and well done. I don't mind those, but it's when it's, like, so bad and in your face, like Jax's ending, or how, like I said before, the women are dressed up like they're going to go on a safari while the guys around run, run around butt naked. There's certain things that I just cannot stand because it's so in your face and it's so bending the knee to this phantom crowd that doesn't buy anything. All these people that they're pandering to, they're not going to buy the game at all. It's just done to just pander to them, get places like Polygon to give it praise. It's really weird. And I just don't want that stuff. I don't want to see Shao Kahn, like act like he's uh, orange man bad that's not what i'm looking for particularly in a fighting game <laughs> which no i don't think i don't think anyone's buying mortal kombat 11 because they want to watch that award-winning groundbreaking story <laughs> we're all buying it because it's a fighting game it's all about the fighting but i just am at the point now that when they pull this crap i just don't want to support the game and that's my decision i'm not saying you have to follow my decision if you still want to buy the game that's on you and that's fine but Make no mistake that the people that are doing this are totally doing it. They know what they're doing. So here we go right here. Gamers who don't like Jax's SJW ending in Mortal Kombat 11 aren't fans according to developer. So we got this guy, Danish Syed, who is a Never Realm Studios UI artist who pretty much took to a response from OK Player. Jax says Mortal Kombat 11 ending finds him undoing slavery. Fans are calling it racist. And then you have Danish or Danish Syed come in and say, don't call them fans, please. What do you mean don't call them fans? <laughs> this is literally, uh, if you don't like it, don't buy it situation right here. And you know, this guy won't get any... Any blowback from NetherRealm Studios, I guarantee you this tweet won't be taken down even after it gets picked up and looked at 
and it's going to it's going to stick that way and it's ridiculous that they're they're allowed to push stuff like this on the consumer now this is this has got people turned off to the game make no mistake now i'm sure it's still going to sell well i i guarantee it's going to sell well and i don't think that there's enough in the game that it's really going to have an effect on the long haul and it's i don't think it's really going to bother people but make no mistake Wait till you see what Mortal Kombat 12 looks like. Like when they start putting this stuff into a game, it's almost like a like a goalpost movement, and they'll move it again on the next one and the next one. But this, I, I can't stand this stuff. Don't call them fans, please. Well, you can imagine that some people didn't like that as much. You got somebody that comes in here and says, "I've been with the series from the first game. I own multiple copies of the 3D era games as well as MK vs DCU." And hashtag Mortal Kombat 9, even the collector's edition, I pre-ordered hashtag MKX. Understand, you don't get to decide who is and who isn't a fan. Understood, not after the money. Well, Danish Syed doesn't care because guess what? He's a socialist. And I saw that real quick after looking over his timeline. And, you know, here's another response. What do you call people who have been with the game since the very beginning and followed the game for 25 plus years because they love the game? What do you call those people? Stalkers, game stalkers? Don't shoot shit at us because we didn't like your woke bullshit. And there's a couple more comments. This actually has not picked up that much steam. It was uh, only until I saw One Angry Gamer cover this that I found this. So props to them for their excellent coverage on Capturing unprofessional douchebaggery like Mr. Syed here decided to pull. It's like, you know, what a slap in the face. I, I can't stand this stuff because you're slapping fans that have been with the franchise for 25 plus years in the face because you don't like that they're not open to your politics. So you know what? We don't need their money, basically, is what he's saying. Your money, it's not welcome here at the table. And I just find that so insulting and so unprofessional. And the fact that Warner Brothers won't do anything about it. NetherRealm Studios, they won't do anything about it because they literally don't care about your dollar. They think you'll just get it anyway. And in a lot of the cases, most people will. Most people probably won't even see this because I don't think it'll pick up that much traction. But I want to show you another thing I found. So look at this. Guys, you have no idea how cool this is going to be. Somebody talking about the crypt. And then I stand by it. Spoilers in uh, parentheses. And then somebody comes, well, that was for a podcast, by the way. So I don't know. So Marcus here didn't watch it. He says, any reason why Cage's got him okay symbol with his hands was changed to a middle finger seems odd. Danish Syed says, nazis. So, you know, the whole weird thing where people think that doing okay is like uh, an extremist symbol now, which is really weird. That was done as a troll. And how these people pick it up. Boom. Like, <laughs> that's full on, like you know, uh, NPC right there doing that. So they literally changed it from the game because they thought it was promoting extremism or some weird crap like that. Um, yeah, that now it's just an awkward moment. Pretty dumb reason to change it. No one believes that garbage. This is interesting. So this is one of the guys that was part of designing the game. And you don't think that there's something going on there? I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying Saiyan, Super Saiyan. Oh, stupid joke. But anyway, I found this very interesting, and I really wanted to share this because I thought it was very telling. But anyway, you know, I know a lot of you aren't going to agree with me, and that's fine, but I do appreciate all of you still watching anyway. Let's go to some other stuff, like these videos that pretty much counter the claim. So not just the lovely nerd at newsstand here, who got her video claimed, the Quartering and Clownfish TV also got videos taken down from what I understand. They talked about the ending and they got claimed. So it actually looks like she got a strike here. So it's got manually detected. I also saw this happen to the Quartering. Now they used footage of the ending, I believe, and that's what got them. I'm sure somebody's watching this video looking for footage of that ending. If you use footage from the game and you criticize that ending, they are claiming the video, and they're not even doing it where they take your shekels. <laughs> they are taking it off. They're, they're stopping it so you nobody can watch it. They're silencing people that have opinions on the game. That is messed up as well. And <laughs> I'm so glad on the last video I didn't include that ending. Mine didn't get taken down. I didn't include the ending. 
But make no mistake, including a 10 second clip from an ending, that's fair use. But you know, they can still go in there and do it and then it takes time to dispute it and stuff and that's what kills it. So like, there's no reason, you might as well just take it down or uh, just try to get the strike removed, right? But by then, no one's really looking for this information anymore anyway. But this is really messed up. This is suppressing opinions, which, you know, is wild. I can't believe that they're doing this. They didn't think anybody was going to talk about it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't include that ending clip. I almost put it in my last video. But this is wild stuff, man. So uh, not only if you don't like the ending, you are now an extremist. If you talk about it and use any footage from the game, well, we're just going to silence you. And then, to top it off... The game's getting review bombed. So there's a couple of things that this could be. I'm sure that this is going to be removed. Uh, they, they did it with Captain Marvel. They went and they took out bad reviews on websites and stuff. And I think that's going to be the way of the future going forward for a lot of companies. I think that they're going to pressure Metacritic, Rotten Tomatoes, all these places to remove negative ratings in mass. And they're going to say, oh, it's, you know, it's trolls and stuff. Now... I'm sure here's one website's review. Also pushing you your personal politic agenda with certain tower endings is just disgusting. Once again, the NPC propaganda destroyed a game. Stop making everything political. I agree. I don't like the politics in my games. Those are a lot of the endings. And also a lot of people are mad about microtransactions and an excessive grind. That's another thing that people are pissed off about. I'm guessing that there's a lot of microtransactions with the crypt actually, which would make a lot of sense. Microtransactions are something that a lot of these uh, companies are shooting for now. Uh, they're just not going to make enough money off DLC in the game. They got to get you with, uh, with loot box gambling algorithms. And finally, the last thing that I thought would be fun to tie into all of this is, and this is an older one. I don't know anybody talked about this. This was back in January 21st. Mortal Kombat 11 blocked from being sold in Japan on Steam which was wild to me. And I guess a lot of games are getting censored over there. I didn't know Japan was going uh, regressive with things. Now, this isn't, uh, you know, anime boobies and stuff. This is uh, blood. You can see here uh, Resident Evil 7's censored version of this bloody hand from Resident Evil 7. Look at the difference right there. That's That says something right there. I guess this has to do with... Uh, the CERO, which came back in 2002, setting certain restrictions in place. The newer 3D games within the Mortal Kombat series weren't officially distributed in the country. They also note that it's not for a lack of interest given that there's a healthy community for the game on YouTube where millions of views have been racked up on Japanese channel featuring the content from the game. So I'm not sure. There's some new law over there. I've heard about this. Uh, some of the reasons why. So Dragon Ball Z, for example... Um, they re-released Bio Broly, a couple other movies. I think they all got a beautiful remaster. And I did a video on this a long time ago where I talked about how Trunks's, Chibi Trunks, his middle finger was, was blurred out. They, they erased it from the movie in the remaster. And that had me scratching my head like, huh, you know, that's weird. And I guess, you know, and if you go and watch Dragon Ball Kai, right, you know, it's not as censored as you think it is. The, the Blu-rays are actually pretty good. But there are some things that are still censored, particularly uh, when Goku and, and Raditz die by Piccolo when he shoots some with the uh, Makansen Penku. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. We'll just say special beam cannon, right? Um, it doesn't, you know, you don't see that blood go through him. I don't even remember if you see the whole beam go through him. And in the original, you could see the hole in Goku. It's like a black, uh, smoky-looking thing on his chest now. And that's not the only time they've edited out extreme violence on uh, on the show when they released this Kai. So it's just interesting that Japan is doing this. Now, they're not toning down their fan service. It just seems to be excessive violence that's getting hit, where it's the opposite over here in America. The excessive violence is A-OK, -okay, but those, uh, those anime boobays, those are bad. Not just bad in, in anime, but in everything. So it's almost like it's just a weird backwards bizarro thing. But yeah, locked in Japan. Uh, you got review bombings. You've got copyright takedowns if you disagree and use any game footage. And then you've got Mr. Danish Siad here, the artist of the game, pretty much calling you garbage. And he doesn't want you to buy the game, which of course causes the NPC outlets like Polygon to rejoice and jump and 
give each other high fives and kisses and butt tickles. So it's a very interesting day. So I don't know. I'm sure the comments are going to be livid as always on these Mortal Kombat videos, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Danish Syed here uh, saying he doesn't want you to buy the game. Do you agree with that? Do you care? I would like to hear your opinion. And uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure you're still subscribed. Make sure you, uh, you know, check that notification bell. Shoot for a couple of likes. And uh, check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel with Patreon and stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.